Hello, hello, hello. I am on um, today live and I am doing a, a promotion and doing some painting with you today. I'm excited to share with you what we've got. I also um, want to do something special today. And we have, uh, let me make sure that this is going on right. Is this going on right? So um, you guys have to let me know if that's backwards or not. It's um, the code on onestroke.com to get a special on onestroke.com is 9242. Okay. It's backwards. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let me try flipping that. All right. Now. So here we go. There we go. 9242. Now it's right, right? Okay, this is the special. And I just want you to know that I have a special that I'm going to offer to you. And I'm going to take everybody who places an order with this code um, in the next two days. And um, well, this is what we'll do from the 20th to the 27th. That gives you the week. Everybody who places an order in 9242 or numerous orders, 9242, each time you place an order from this special, then I'm going to do a $50 of gift for you guys, okay? Uh, for the person who gets drawn, their name gets drawn. I'm going to make this very clear. If you use this code on onestore.com where you get $10 off a $50 order, and if you do more than one, you get your name in more than once. And we are going to draw from those names who use 429242. And we have a special gift that we're going to give one lucky person worth $50. Okay. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I haven't done this before. It's a good way to try. Uh, and I, it's nice to see you guys and hear from you guys too. Thank you. So I am going to be painting. I was just teaching this morning. wanted to share um, how fun this class was this morning. I do online classes, which they cost like $35 and um, it's two to three hours. So this class today was a fall bench. And so I did a bonus. So in this lesson, you get both. We did a spring bench and a fall bench, okay? So you could hang it all together. We could do four seasons. <laughs> or if you have a hookup and you have the fall one, I want you to know that now you can flip that one out. But a spring, if you're hoping for a spring, but I was just told today, some people have um, don't have spring flowers like this until summer. But in Florida, we are getting ready for some, right? So, oh, look at everybody. Hello, hello. Uh, Susan Smith, I was talking about you earlier about our day together and our private lesson. And we have Linda Honeycutt. Hello, hello. And we've got um, Irene from Germany. Yay, North Germany. All right. So, so an online class is like that. Okay. So you can usually sign up in those online classes right on winstroke.com or you can contact me, Donna Dewberry1 at Hotmail and say, I want to take this class. Okay. So this class gives you both. It's an online downloadable now, so you can keep it and watch it as many times as you want. This is a special, which is the fall bench and the bonus lesson. Also in the video is the spring um, bench. Okay. Now this is a class that you can be live with me next Friday. It's called the Scottish cow is the baby cow. All right. So this is a $35 class special right now. And it you can still get in, but you have to sign up before um, next Wednesday. All right. That's your deadline. And it's Donna Dewberry1 at hotmail.com to sign up. So I'll send you an invoice if you want to do him with me. You know, we had lots of people do different colors of flowers in their hair and his hair. But I want you to know or her hair is a little baby Scottish cow. But from this lesson, you can go do the regular big cow. I mean, the adult cow. <laughs> All right. So it's online you uh, Zoom class with me. 
All right. And so that is the 26th at 10 a.m., but it's recorded. So even if you can't be there, you still get the recording and you download that and save it. And you can start a library of online lessons with me. So that's just for you. Excited to share that with you. This is a special I have going on on onestroke.com. You don't get this off the Scottish cow. That Scottish cow is a special deal at 35. All right. So onestroke.com. Anything I'm sharing with you today or anything that you want to purchase and you get $10 off a $50 order. So that's just till the 27th. And I just want to share that with you. It's important. All right. So my special today is for every time you order with this code 9242, when you check out and you see how much your order is, then you put the code in. The code is 9242. When you put that code in, then you get 20%. I mean, you get a $10 off a $50 order. Okay. So I just want you to know that by using that code, you get to enter each time you use that code before the 27th, your name's going to get in a drawing for $50 worth of free from Donna. It's a surprise. Okay. So I wanted to share that with you. I also have a Valentine mystery class. Um, it, so what I did, where did I put this mystery class? <laughs> oh, it is. This is what I did. It's the day before Valentine's. That's why we call it Valentine's. It's not really a Valentine painting, but it's something that could be. All right. Cause it's a mystery. So I've done two of these in the past and people just love them. So it is a $25 special. It is at 6 p.m. the night before Valentine's. And so that's the 13th of February. And you've got to get on the list. And so you can sign up for that by going to Donna Dewberry Wynn at Hotmail. And we'll send you an invoice for $25. So that's just a special and you also get a recording if you can't be there that time. And what I do is as we're painting, I'm sharing slowly what we're doing together and people are guessing what the painting is going to be. So it ends up being really fun. Last time I did hydrangeas in the background. We did ombre background hydrangeas, blue hydrangeas, and then I wasn't done. And then I did post and they said, uh, they still don't, was, weren't sure what I was doing. And then I put jars, mason jars on each of the posts in front of the hydrangea. And then they finally guessed, somebody finally guessed, which was really uh, amazing because I put candles in it. Then I put bows around the lid. And then I put fireflies all over the painting. So it was fun. All right. Hello, late but here. Hello, hello. Thank you for coming on, Cheryl and Kim. And... Cassandra, Donna, hello guys, thank you so much. Mom's from France, hello, hello. I love it when we get people from other countries, it's awesome. Well, I wanna show you just a couple of things. Um, we have all in stock right now, uh, some new brushes. So these are right on the, our website, okay? And I don't have all the prices, I don't wanna get messed up with the prices, so you guys have to go to the website to find them out. We have these new mop brushes and they have two sizes that we've sold them out a few times. They're back in stock. And these are a dear friend of mine. I said, I want a small mop and a medium mop. And she taught me how she uses a mop, which was different than I used a mop. But I love that we can blend our colors on these big flowers. We can blend the red into the yellow up there. The mop brushes are wonderful and you can put them in water. This is soft and it moves a beautiful background that's watercolor. So these are a super good price on my website. You got to check those out. We also have two brushes that are rake brushes. I have all my rake brushes in my kits. Um, where is one of them? They're large. Okay. They're large rake brushes. So look, I always wanted smaller rake brushes. Okay. So this is a smaller and smaller. All right. So and they're super good prices too. You won't believe the prices. Plus you get that discount. All right. So I want you to see the third new brushes that are in stock right now. Let me see. There we go. There we go. All right. These I'm going to use these today <clears throat> with what I'm sharing with you. 
So these are three sizzle brushes that I had Paula do for me. And so what I love is I have a 20, a 16, and a 12. Now, these are not like sizzle brushes I've ever used before. I don't have sizzle brushes in front for me, but they're usually really stiff here. All right, they're hard and stiff. And sometimes if you're not really, really good, the stiff brush gets up under the stencil and messes up a little bit. These are synthetic nylon. They do not do that. I haven't had one single person who bought these that didn't say, oh my gosh, people who never could stencil before can stencil beautifully. So I'm going to be using these today when I'm teaching you something new. All right. So this is a special that's on our site. So if you pick up any of these brushes or my basin, uh, double loader and palette, that's like a great tool set. Um, all of these, you can get $10 off every $50 you spend. All right. So if you $50 or more, you're going to get 9242 is the code to get this special deal. But let me share with you. Um, you could do four $50 orders and put your name four times to win that $50. All right. It's $50 worth of um, goodies for you. Okay. So I want to share with you a couple of real quick things and then we're going to start painting. All right. You're, you banked on those brushes. It's nice to know people. I love you. Laugh out loud. Yes. Uh, those tinsel brushes are worth every penny. Absolutely amazing. Did, did y'all hear that? Amani, <laughs> they're wonderful. See, I just, yeah, it's nice to know good people who are very talented and they bless my life. All of you guys bless me by being out there. These are my signature brushes. These are the best uh, Donna Dewberry brushes I make. Okay, and those are 13 most, most used brushes. These are my great student brushes, great everyday brushes. These are um, the value pack, and there's 10 of my most used brushes. Use a lot of flat brushes if you don't know me, and um, I have liners in here and uh, two sizes of scruffies. Um, anyway, this is all in there. Brushes I created, they are... These are all um, one-stroke brushes, one-stroke painter sponge. You see me use that a lot. Um, these are all new packaging, all new product. We're excited. Okay. And I'm going to pull out my painter sponge because I'm going to use that too. All right. So then last thing I'm going to show you before we start painting, um, I'd like to share with you that on my YouTube channel right here, Donna Dewberry channel, please subscribe. And then you'll know everything that's coming up. It'll get, you can say, ring the bell. It'll tell you when I'm showing you something new. It'll tell you when I am doing a live. Uh, it will also share, you can learn and join. Um, you can join Patreon or join um one stroke advantage right here on YouTube by just hitting join. And then it'll tell you, you get to pick what level you want to do. Um, but on one stroke advantage, one of your advantages besides getting four lessons for $10 each uh, full length lessons, um, you could also upgrade that a little bit and get the patterns and the uh, worksheets for each one. But you also every month, even for the $10 level, every month, you get a 20% coupon off onestroke.com, okay? And there's no requirements of how much you spend. All right, so this is brand new. You also have to email Donna Dewberry1 at Hotmail if you want this. And I don't have my samples here. Uh, we have them at the studio. I'll have to pick them up this week and share a picture. But I just want you to see that this could be with or without the bunny, what I loved about a 12 by 12 stencil, and you guys are buying my stencils like crazy, but this is another new type stencil I want to do. And the exciting thing to me, it's a quick pattern on easy, and I'm ombreing this pretty background. What you're going to get with this $21.95 special is you're going to get the colored pages, step-by-steps, and everything inside of this to do it with me. And what you're going to see, you don't even need a video because it's so simple. It's just 
one, two, three, four, five, you're done. Okay. So you have three borders. You have this cute little border here. You have this bigger border and you have this border. All right. So you can see that I used different colors as I was doing that border. After you do the background, you could 12 by 12 canvas, 12 by 12 wood surface. There's all kinds of things that you could do with this. But then can you see how all this is white? All right. So then I stencil on like a pattern onto this pretty dried background. And so you can take this off and you can multiply the two, the irises and tulips across, or you can just um, have multiple butterflies in there, or you could do your bunny also. So whichever you choose to do and the finished samples are in there. So you see every picture of my ideas. I have a, a spotted bunny, the little brown spots, a gray and white bunny and a textured bunny and then different types of butterflies. So $21.95 gives you this brand new hot off the press. And to order that, so what you do when I tell you to go to my email, it's Donna Dewberry one at hotmail.com. Then my husband sends you an invoice and that tells you like you put your address and everything and, and you click on it and you can go pay and it's all there for you. Okay. So anybody who likes the oversize I did behind there and you want to learn oversize, I have these great oversized brushes and this is $29.95 and you can use your $10 off when you spend 50. I just want you to see their long handle. So you step back and get those big paintings and you'll see all of that. All right. So, and this is also on Patreon. You can learn that with me right on Patreon. It's one of the first classes I did on there. All right. So I'm going to do something special today. You ready? Uh, yes, please. <laughs> Don't forget to hit the like, thumbs up. YouTube likes it when you put a lot of thumbs up. Then they think you like what I'm sharing and they will share more. Okay. Does that sound good? All right. So I'm going to, I love those brushes. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to go down. I'm sorry. That's how I have to do it. And when I do it, I'm upside down. So give me a chance to flip it around. All right. And y'all ready to see some painting? Okay, we are going to come right here. I have I'm my own camera guy, which is a good thing, and camera woman, and uh, with the mic and the all kinds of stuff here. Okay, love the oversized brushes. Have them. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So what I want to show you here, yes, it's just me. Am I right-handed? That's what I need to know. Am I right-handed? So I have to wait for y'all to say yes or no. Just came back in the house. Thank you, Pat. I'm left-handed. left hand is good for those who want me to do a left-handed class. All right. So I have done left-handed classes quite often recently because we, uh, I don't realize I'm not right-handed. Okay. So this is what I want to share with you. I'm going to put a background on here and then we're going to stencil. Okay, this truck, and we're going to fill it with flowers. All right, I just thought, I talked about that earlier, and I said, you know what? I just need to go for it and do it. All right, so I'm going to put some floating medium. Floating medium is a fluff that's inside paint with no pigment in it. Um, I don't even have any idea what colors I'm going to use, but you know what? This is my eight-ounce bottle of multi-surface paint. You can get eight ounce bottles of floating medium. I use floating medium instead of water. All right. So I, I'm not sure what color I want to do my truck, but I thought maybe a teal, an aqua, that would be pretty. Um, let's put some blue peacock in the back. All right, and then I'm going to put, these are all multi-surface, some citrus green. All right. And then I think I will do a pretty aqua truck and then we'll fill it, fill it with flowers. Good morning. Hello, hello. All right, I do one stroke. I do it every week. Oh, thank you. All right, so I want you to see, let's put some citrus at the bottom. Okay, this is a 10 by 20 canvas. All right. And so we got a truck. It's all sitting as a display at the farmer's market or in your front yard. It's all green on the bottom. 
Okay, so now I am, oh, you know what? I'm going to get my second sponge because I, I need to turn this around, but I don't want, I don't know, maybe I can. Okay, so let's get white and blue peacock. All right, so I'm going to come right up here, and then I'm going to go right in to see the green and blue. All right, I can get across. Let's pick up some white. All righty, there we go. So this is blue peacock. I think it's a really clear, clean, clean color. All right, I'm left, now I'm right. <laughs> okay, you guys are special. Thank you for being on. All right, and so let's, I'd like to do this as we go because then we have the exact color that I used when I used it, and we're not trying to match it later. Okay, all right. And the other good thing about painting with the sponge backgrounds is that it dries um, quickly so that you can do your next thing. Is it cold today? We are, it's chilly out there. So it's in the 50s, which is nothing for most of you guys. <laughs> But um, I walked out and went, oops, it's cold. <laughs> and every day I walked out and it's been humid. Okay, I want to use my heat gun, right? my heat pen right in here. These are on our site and it's really good if you're painting on glass or like today. When I was doing these fun uh, projects, I want to show you those really quick. I had to use it a lot. All right. So these are the two projects I did. I did. And this was included for the $35. Two, it was like over two hours. And we did the fall bench. And then I showed them how to do it into a spring bench. So isn't that fun? So um, you can also get those by going to my email. <coughs> All right. And you get the download and loadable. But the cow we're doing next next week, this one, is uh, live. We're, we're together live while we do this one. And by doing this one, you learn everything to do an adult one. This is our baby Scottish cow. All right. And it's next week. So if you want to go to Donna Dewberry one at hotmail.com, you can do that with me. All right. And it's a Zoom class. I'm going to turn this truck this way. All right. This is a Christmas truck, but I, oh, I wanted to put the picket fence. Maybe I'll put this up higher. Okay. And these are my stencil brushes. All right, so I'm going to use aqua, but let's put teal for the shading because we're going to put aqua and teal, okay? Now, what you need to have, oh, that's patina. Here's aqua. All right, I love the multi-surface paint. It's got a sealer in it, so you can put this on any kind of surface, guys, and it's wonderful. All right, so I am getting in my paper towel. Okay, that was all ready. Okay, I've had a busy day today. All right, so this one I want to show you. I'm going to take the, I'd like that I can take this large brush. This is a 20. All right, now this is dry when you use it, and you only need to cover the tips, okay? All right, hello from Lucy. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to pick up teal. Okay, and I'm rubbing it in, but then this is where people don't, they skip this part. You're going to your paper towel and wiping off some of that. And then I'm going to come right in here and I go left and right, left and right. 
Okay, I can even do the wheels because they're going to be dark and that'll be fine. They're going to be licorice. Okay, so I need a little bit darker here so that you can see where the truck is. Now, this is how I use stencils. I use them with most of my stencils to give you the shape. And then I, it's like the pattern and it's on there really quick. And then all I have to do is come back and paint it in. That sound good? Okay. Now, this is what I, I suggest you do. I suggest you come here, hold it down tight, but come here and see if it's working. See, I got a little bit too much paint. So if I rub it off here, this is good. So I'll show you the good and the bad. <laughs> I, on paper or fabric, you don't have this problem, but when you're doing on a canvas, it doesn't absorb it very well. Okay, so there we go. So this is perfect for me to show you that I'm pretty good here, but right there, I needed it darker. And what it did ended up doing is it gooped it up. Gooped it up. So that's what you don't want to do. So I'm going to put this stencil brush here. And I want you to see you stroke one way down on the base, on the brush basin. And then you make sure that you get this paint out of this brush. But it still might color it some because it's a brand new brush I was just using. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to come in here with the aqua. And I am going to, this is what I want to share, share with you, that I can come right in here and I can make the fenders and all the detail. I can come back on with the stencil and share that darker on there afterwards. Okay. And we're going to come down around and we're going to put in all those flowers and all that we want in here. All right. So I have the floating medium. Okay, we're going to come across here. And so really quick, we have a cool truck with good shade, with good bones. Is that what you would say? With good bones. Okay. All right, so this is aqua. I, I accented it with teal, which will be up here a little bit later. All right, now remember what I said, we can take this all in here and we can come back and put the stencil back on here again later. And when we do, that shades some of this accent that I'm covering now. But this makes it really quick for you just to jump in and start doing your project. And here's the fender, fender and bumpers. There we go. So if I do a light coat like I'm doing here, you can see through it some. And that's where you put the accent shading. Okay, we're going to come right here. So the truck is a very popular icon. If you go to any of the craft st stores or Hobby Lobbies or whatever. There you go. Okay, so I just base coated everywhere where it was, but you still have your layout, which is really nice. Now I'm going to come in here with, let's get some gray. So we're going to pick up some medium gray. I've got some white for the window. All right. And then we're going to put some licorice. So we have some fun things that will really make this truck cute right away. All right. And so you notice I didn't have to trace any pattern. I just put it on really quick. And we are going to come right in here because I'm going to fill this full of greenery. And then we're going to put the wood slats on here afterwards. Isn't that kind of fun? Oh, I went past. I'll just make flowers there. But I, took, I started the tree. 
Okay, so right down here, we are going to put a fender. No, the, not a fender. This is the bumper. Okay, and right here's the bumper. All right. We're going to put hubcaps that are gray. And it's got white wash, white walls on the, on the uh, tire. All right, so hopefully you'll see that this makes it go faster. All right. Okay, I'm gonna wipe this, grab some white and a little bit of floaty medium. And I'm gonna just come in here, see the steering wheels right there too. Okay, and we have a light right here. There we go. And let me see, there was another light, uh, a mirror right here, right there. And then we have the lights in the front of the truck. Okay. And where are the lights back here? I guess it doesn't show me the lights back here, but we can put one right there. All right, now I'm going to come in here with the licorice and we're going to come around. Okay. There we go. Very quickly. Ooh. It's sputtering along here. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So we can put a little black on the hubcap. Okay. I just want you to see how fast with this little stencil. You can have a great year round. We can have pumpkins in here sometimes. Sometimes we can have trees. And sometimes we can have flowers. We can fill it with Easter bunnies. All right, around, 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 around. Now I put this up higher, I might say something at the bottom or I might put a picket fence here. And because I am gonna set some baskets out. All right, so, oh, I know what we need to do. We need to do this into white. All right, and then I'm gonna dry it and then I'll show you how quick we can put the stencil back over it. Okay. So this is like a white lattice across the back. Okay. See, this is going in the truck. We have the back back here. And we are going to make, we're going to dry this <coughs> and put the stencil there again. So... I don't know how you'll do it up there. Or the wall, oh my goodness, that is. Guys, hurricanes, we know they're coming, we know they're right there. I I might doubt, I might worry if I was by the coast on the beach, but other than that, we've had a few bad, but we usually know they're coming. And you guys who have 
lots of tornadoes or who have where you don't know when they're coming. I don't mean that bad. But I think everywhere around the world, there are places that are scary. I guess it's because I've lived here my whole life. I've been in major hurricanes and in little hurricanes. And Michael's never let you down. What are y'all looking for? I didn't know if I do the check other stories. What are you looking for? Bottles of multi surface. Oh. I know that's not your favorite thing to do is having to have it shipped to you, but we have it for you if you need it. Okay. This is my little heat pin too for you guys that are watching maybe for your first time. Okay. So I gotta I'm worried about touching. Yes, those are very wet. Those big spots I did. Okay, I can retouch that later. Let me all right. I wanna re stencil this and show you the shading. Okay. So what I want to show you is that I'm going to put this right back and I want to work on the fenders and the shading. Okay. So let's go to a smaller brush. Oops. Let's come up, up, up. There we are. All right. So this is aqua. So what did I touch? Okay, this is aqua, so I want to put a little bit darker, okay, which is teal. And if you don't feel comfortable holding it like this, you can tape it down. All right, this is the teal I want to use, and I'm wiping it off on a paper towel, and then I come in here. Okay, so I don't know if this is going to show, so this is what I want to do. All right, I'm going to come right in here. I don't think that's going to show, so I might need blue. No. No. Okay, so let's get blue peacock with tail. And let's rub this in. Okay, so I'm going to come in here. I'm going to come in here. Okay, we've got teal and blue peacock. Now I'm going to go across here and then I'm going to check it. All right, I'm going to go just as far and then I'm going to check it. So look guys, we come around. And then I want to do the fenders right here. Okay, let me see how that looks. Well, it shades it kind of. It gives you all that detail. The fenders getting heavy. All right. Left, right, left, right. Okay, there we go. So see, it kind of gives us a cool shading as we go. All right, I have all kinds of stencils that have words. You could do that too. All right. I'll pull that off of my brush before I put it down. Okay, so we are, I'm going to put some white with gray, and I'm going to come right around here. Okay, white walls or... 
wheels. There you go. And this is gray. And we had a handle here that's gray. So just a little bit of detail on right here we have the mirrors. Okay. And right along here. All right, and back there is the wood um, fencing that's in the back of the truck holding the flowers. Okay, so look, I'm going to put white. Let's get some more white. This is with a six flat. All right, so I'm going to come right here and put it on the black and on the black. Okay, we're going to put white across there. I'm going to put the mirror there and there and a light okay and we can put a little bit on this fender no this is a bumper i'm sorry so what do you think very quickly we can have a truck shape that was not very hard to do is better than drawing tracing and figuring it out we did it really quick all right so the deal is you dry it and then do it again you write names on here but you can also come in here with floating medium and this is my larger brush my 16 flat and i can come in here and shade and get more depth all right so let's say let's say i have peacock blue with a little bit of licorice. Ugh. Let's come right here. All right. Okay. And this is the railing. Here's the door. All right. This is the back of the truck. Now you can put lots of detail in here. I am not putting as much detail as some of you might want to put. What I want to do is just like get ready and do some flowers. Okay, so I'm going to come under here. We can come along in this mirror area and the light. I'm going to come right here. Isn't that kind of fun? And I didn't put a lot more work into it. Okay. And um, we can also put the silver chrome down here. So I do white with gray. There we go. All right. So I'm going to put a little bit of white brushed across the window. All right. <clears throat> so, so we want to put some baskets and pots out here, right? So if I come in here with some coffee latte, all right, okay, let's get a, let's get a 16. So we have, we're gonna put some pots along here. I don't wanna cover too many bumpers and stuff. But we're going to come along here. Put some baskets and pots. And like I said, we can put them along the fence if you want to put the stenciled fence in here.
Okay, and we're going to put some flowers inside. So I'm just going to put right here where there would be a pot. Right here. Right here. All right. So, so sometimes I come in here and I put coffee latte in white. We make a little basket. So does it seem fun? Right now I'm just showing you I started I started about 15 minutes ago. Okay, we have a couple baskets back there. I think I have to make this kind of like a welcome sign or something in my kitchen so I can write um, Donna's flowers or there's all kinds of stuff I can put in here. All right, so what I'm going to do is put in some flowers. I'm going to put some stems in here first. I'm going to have some hanging down here. Okay, so let me get some green. We got some, this is just thicket, but that's okay. All right, so there we go. So we can put a little bit of um, big, Let's get some medium citrus and thicket. All right. All right, I'm gonna come down with some shorter little guys. And over here, well, we're going to put some teal in here with the citrus, and that looks good. Put some green hanging down. All right, so fast, fast, fast. Strokes are always so good. <laughs> All right, this is going to be so gorgeous. Thank you. Flat tire with all those pots, okay. <laughs> you guys are funny. So one thing I like is if I show you about using the mop brush, we can put water in here. We can pick up some of this color and a little bit more water. We can have a little bit darker underneath here. So the mop gives you that watercolor fill. And I'm going to put thicket. Oops. What you like is I can pull that off of there off of the tire. All right, so what we can do up in the sky, I can pick up some white with some of the blue. Put a little bit of white up here. I don't know 
wipe that off and just put white. So this mop brush can make you trees, can make you clouds, do watercolor in the background. I've even painted a leaf with this brush. Okay. So quick, quick, it's starting to look like something, right? All right. So I don't like this thicket. I want my sap. There's sap, right? Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we can take our scruffy brush. All right. We can take sap with some teal, some ever or citrus. And this can just be This is kind of like one of those mystery classes I told you guys about that I was going to do. All right. So then we're going to come in here and let's get a little bit. I had some other colors here earlier. Nope. Let's see if I had some purple. No, let's put some purple out on here. Okay. All right, and little bits. All right. So what we're going to do now is, where's my magenta? All right. <laughs> You're so funny. You guys are sweet. Okay, so I'm going to come in here. Uh, this is supposed to look like pots in here. But I still want it to look like a fence underneath there, right? So let's pick up some white and some purple. And because you can't see the flowers, what they're going to be really close, I'm just going to have, it could be like Heather or something. I'm at the whites up and I'm pulling down with the purple. Be sure that you see, I, I keep wanting to show you the discount, all right? So I'm praying for a creative gene to empty in my 60s. <laughs> okay, now do I have this backwards? <laughs> it's 9242 at onestore.com. Any $10, any $50 purchase you, or more, you get $10 off. So this is a special way for you guys to get extra discount. And I have something that I've never done before. Everybody who does the 9242 code when you're checking out, every time you do it between now and the 27th, you go in a drawing for $50 free gift, $50 worth of free gifts from me to you. And we'll announce the winner. Okay. And so... Okay, so I'm going to do, and so we'll count every order that has that code on it. Now, isn't that a good idea? <laughs> so now what I'm doing is I'm showing how to take a stencil and make a fun, it's a Christmas, this Christmas truck, and we're making it, I'm going to show you different times during the year. So if you buy it, the stencil from me, um, or you have already bought it, then we're going to be doing fun little ideas all through the year. Okay. So right now I'm tap, tap, tapping and moving the white all the way around. So it looks like pink blossoms. All right. You like that? Well, thank you. This is a truck that I sell, a truck stencil. Duh. Anyway, I don't know where it went. It's a Christmas truck stencil. Oh, it's on the floor. Um, and we're just going to do different designs with this truck stencil. But you can watch the replay, too, and and see um, if it's something. I have all kinds of things I shared with you. And 
um, classes that are coming up and how to get a hold of me on my personal email. All right. So um, uh, I'm thinking of some other colors. I got to put more colors in here, don't I? All right. So we have some orange. And we have some yellow. That's not orange. I'll put that Pueblo with some yellow. Okay. And then we could do some more pink up there, couldn't we? All right. So let's put some more magenta here. And it's just magenta without the white. Okay, and I can put some yellow in there. Okay, then they give some brightness to it. Now I'm going to put yellow and Pueblo. All right, and we are going to do some long, skinny strokes. All right, I want to say it would look like corn, but we're just going to put some daffodil and Pueblo and put some yellow in there. And I can also, we can go crazy on this, but we are going to just take it easy. We can take and put a little bit of sap and citrus, and I'm going to put a few little leaves coming out from this greenery. And we can have some little lines coming off. All right. And we can put a little bit of yellow in here. And see, I'm just dabbing it. You can use a kiss tool, which we are waiting for some new kiss tools to come. If you've got an order in, they're going to be back in, but they're not there right now. All right, see, so a little bit of that coming out there, fire flowers. Oh, okay. Yeah, but those are usually red, aren't they? This is this is an orangey color. Yeah, I'll put some red in there. Okay, guys. Now, what you can do to set this all off, just saying, I can, like, I want accenting the truck itself. So I can come in here with white and teal and I can make a pretty flower. All right, I got too much water or too much something on there. Okay. Too much. A little bit of white. So springtime. How are you guys feeling? Springtime. Be sure that you check out the code watch replay and check out the code to get on oneshow.com and get an opportunity to win $50 with of more gifts from me. All right. So we have a little rose effect over there and all right, a little bit of a rose. Pick up some white. Happy Saturday. It's a new year. We have a mystery class coming up the day before Valentine's Day. It's $25. You don't know what you're going to paint. It's a big surprise. Go to Donna Dewberry, one, number one, at hotmail.com and sign up. Ask to sign up for the Valentine Christmas valentine mystery class 
And I tell you, the colors, I can't give a pattern then. I can give, and but because you're going to have to guess what it is as we go. But I give you all the colors and what size I did it on. So what do y'all think? I have been a Donna fan for 20 years now. Never, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. That is so nice, Lou. Uh, um, thank you. I'm invested. <laughs> you guys are so cute. Okay. So see, finally, I got my brush where there's not water, not... It was the paint had a whole bunch of floating medium running into it. That's why the double loader helps you is because you don't let that happen. All right. So I want you to know that we can, I, I'm thinking about calling this Donna's flower, flower truck. Oh, look, I'm going to do, I'm going to go over it again. I'm not happy there. So Saturday afternoon with me. Thank you. Some people were on Facebook Live with me earlier. And some had classes with me earlier. And I was just in the mood to share some more with y'all. Sometimes I am. Sometimes I'm exhausted. All right. So that looks like too dark. So let me show. Do I have my scruffy out here? Or I put it in the water. But I can show you that I can bring a little lighter white with aqua and put a little highlight in there because it's just a little too dark there we go i had teal but i didn't have it lined up there okay i'm going to go back with some green <laughs> That looks too much like a ball, so let's move some dark green in there. There, just a little bit of highlight. Okay, <clears throat> so if I come in here with a little liner, this is a mystery class, I just realized, isn't it? <laughs> All right, I'm going to put Scruffy in here. Mystery. Put some more. There we go. Now all I have to do is go teach us some of my campers. They were wanting <laughs> a little truck. So here we go. We have a little truck. All right. So I'm going to use citrus and sap. Or citrus and teal, either one. So oh, there we go. All right, we can also come down this way a little bit. Okay, we so we put a little detail on the edges. So citrus and sap on an eight flat. On an eight flat. I put a little bit of peacock, blue peacock. A little bit of blue. All right. And you can also come a little bit under here. Put a little bit of blue under there. And a little bit of blue under there. It already has some blue. There we go. So what do you think? <laughs> a 
Well, thank you. Well, y'all just kept inspiring me. So I was wondering, this is not going to be wow. How do I make this wow? Okay, so I'm going to say Donna's. Flower truck or flowers. Okay, so so then you can go around and do all kinds of detail if you want. Okay, so so I'm just using the liner to come in here and do some detail. Just a little bit of black here and there. This is a licorice. We're going to come right in here. Thank you for being on with me today. Come check out our specials. There's been something you've been wanting to get for a while. Get your $10 off. And there we go. Oh, my goodness. I took my sleeve or something, yep, all the way across it, <laughs> all the way across my flower. Ah. But you know what? You can fix it, right? There you go. So I'm going to come right back in there and restroke that and fix it. My husband says, don't wear your new shirt. <laughs> Well, I just, I can always get it off, but I kind of covered this. Okay. Anything you don't like, you put fresh paint and restroke it, guys. All right, so now I just have to get the scruffy brush and put my yellow back in there. And I will see you guys next time. You thought that was just your eyes? No. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I just really messed up my shirt. That's okay. I just have to paint my shirt, right? Okay. And I'm going to go back and put the blue back there. There we go. Now. <laughs> okay. All right. It's kind of fun, huh? It's just the horizon goes out because the sun is so bright. Okay, hope you like it. We can do lots more to it, but this is a quick and easy way. Thank you for all the hearts. Love you guys. I appreciate you. I'm going to post the picture and we'll see you next time.